After parting out and scrapping my Nissan 200SX, I've started to look for a replacement project car. I wanted a rear-wheel drive, JDM, and preferably turbocharged car. One car in particular seemed to tick all the boxes. It was this 99 Lexus IS200 that had most of the mods done that I had in mind doing myself. A lip kit, nice wheels, lowered suspension, and most important, turbocharger kit. All this with one and a half years of technical inspection left and at a good price. However, the car was not without fair share of problems. Okay, so I've tried to clean this off and I see that there's a lot of rust, a lot of pinholes. I don't know if you can see, but there's like pinholes all around. So probably this, this panel is completely rusted through and I will need to cut it out and put some new metal in this place it's much more work than i anticipated okay did some more cleaning up and look what i found um uh, sure yeah you can see it right over here there's a hole yep so this is completely okay time to cut it so essentially all of the seam that was running on top of the windshield is rusted because this bottom lip was also corroded it has become very thin in places especially here and here it is better to replace this lip from here to here than to try to weld on it a new lip was welded on so a little bit more progress I started to patch a couple of things up, so I got this lip in most places welded. So now this is with the windshield in. I think the gap looks alright. It's not perfect, but it will do. I was welding along, everything's fine, and then a burning smell appeared. I started to look around, and yep. There's definitely some smoke lingering around. Hmm, I wonder where the smoke is coming from. Oh, the sound insulation got fire. Nice. Welding of the roof is finished. It's the third day of sanding and it's coming along quite okay. Still have three low spots here, here and here. The repair will not be perfect, but I think it will be good enough. <sighs> I think I found where the water is coming from. I knew that the rear quarter was replaced, but I didn't know it was this part of a job. Here he even left holes in the metal, I would give him 10 out of 10 for the welds. I was sending down a high spot and I've revealed the onion that was beneath. The hood is grey and then we see a blue and then another blue. At least there is so much material here that I don't even need to add filler to flatten this out. Heck off! And he did. I haven't done an update in a while. Haven't done much. Like I finished this part. It's now smooth. Also small specs here. Then I fixed the small dent that was here. I, tr I started to scuff the whole car and seeing where are uh, the problems, but. Generally speaking, the car was pretty straight. I had to fix the arch here because uh, it was rolled here and also pulled slightly. So there was some wavering here. Now it's all good. Also, since the rear quarter panel has been changed, here was uh, 
the the seam you can look here the distance and, and so also fixed this and of course had to fix the other arch too now it's much smoother than no it's nice and as you can see all the other panels are pretty straight eight days till my wedding the car is still <laughs> far from being ready i've tried to primer uh, i had some problems with the gun adjusting also had a couple of fails such as uh, i don't know if you can see here i put my hose in that place so now i'm trying to send this down and uh, the first problem is i only did one coat which means that there's very little primer here and as soon as i went to bring it down it went back to straight metal at least the roof looks all right the roof repair okay so back to work now so the car so the car was finally prepped and masked for paint why the journey it's been to this point now it's time for paint The color is on, the base coat, and as you can see, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty good for the first time, not knowing what I'm doing, and I still got some paint left, so I think I'll just do like a couple more coats, just to even it out, but so far it looks like much better than it was before, much better. So yeah, but that's going to be done after the wedding. I just finished painting. I mean, the color is amazing. As you can see, a lot of dust in the paint job, but hopefully I can buff that out. I mean, it looks amazing. Sadly, I had a little boo-boo. So here you can see a run. Pretty bad one, but once again, no big deal. I'll just polish it out. Uh, this is the first day of reassembly. The front end is put on. The front bumper, the grill, uh, the fenders are probably temporary. They'll need to come off again. Put back the wheels. Nice. So today was mainly of cleaning the interior, assembling it. The door cards are not on because uh, I still need to add uh, paint the door handles the front was also clean but as you can see it's still quite dirty i'll need to get a better vacuum cleaner but most of the things are going back in been assembling the car because i had to repair the bmw i pushed this out and there was a problem because you take the cap off what we have here is mail so somehow oil is getting into the cooling system which is bad so I guess I won't be heading out this season <sighs> well I don't know at least the car looks good but I don't know I'll need to think about whether to do an engine swap or build this one GFE